The following demonstration shows the features of using REC and GovConnect Activity Statement Lodgement with QuickBooks 2012-13. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that your activity statement is configured to lodge using the standard business reporting channel. So simply click Reports, then click Tax, and then click Simplified BAS slash IAS. When the Simplified BAS window opens, click the Config button. In the BAS configuration window, click the BAS Lodgement tab, and then click to select Standard Business Reporting SBR Lodgement via REC and Gov Connect, and then click OK. Now you can complete your BAS slash IAS as normal, and then click Lodge. In most cases, REC and Gov Connect will automatically find your OSCE file from the various default locations. If you have saved your OSCE file in external storage, you may need to select your OSCE file by clicking Browse and manually selecting it. Once your OSCE file is selected, you enter your OSCE password. And you must click I agree to the SBR privacy and conditions of use and then click Enter. If you have more than one credential on your OSCE, you can select it from the drop down list. You then need to choose your identity, either reporting party or intermediary, and then click Next. The search period defaults to cover the last BAS period plus a month. For example, if today's date is the 4th of April, the default search period will start from the 1st of January to the 30th of April. You can change the dates on the search period if required. You can select to list your current obligations, your historical obligations, or all of your obligations, and then simply click OK. Select the report that you want to use from the list and then click Next. You now need to pre-fill the relevant details from the ATO, so click Pre-fill. You can use the arrows to move through any messages that are returned from the ATO and then click Next. Your IAS BAS file that was generated by QuickBooks is automatically imported by Reckon Gov Connect, so simply click OK to the successfully imported message. You can click through the tabs to view your imported figures. On the GST tab you can switch between GST option 1 and 2. These options are based on your profile with the ATO. If they don't appear and you are expecting to see them, please contact the ATO. If you would like to use the worksheets to help you calculate your GST, click Yes here. You can then switch between the Sales and Purchase worksheets. The PAYG Withholding tab displays your tax and amounts withheld. The Summary tab displays your tax payable and receivable. The Government Agency tab displays pre-filled information from the ATO for your reference. The Organisation Details tab displays pre-filled information from the ATO for your reference. To update this information you will need to contact the ATO. You can make changes to the figures in Reckon Gov Connect. however it is important to note that the information you are submitting with Reckon Gov Connect will not match the figures in QuickBooks. We strongly recommend that you make changes in QuickBooks. Once you have made changes in QuickBooks and clicked Lodge, you will be prompted to refresh your figures in REC and GovConnect. Back in REC and GovConnect, notice that the Refresh BAS button is highlighted in yellow. Click the Refresh BAS button and then click OK. Notice how the change we made in QuickBooks is reflected after clicking Refresh BAS. Once you are happy with the figures, click Send Pre-Lodge. You can use the arrows to move through any messages you might have received from the ATO. And then click Next. Once you have pre-lodged and checked your data with the ATO and corrected any errors, you can lodge your activity statement by clicking Lodge BAS. Enter your full name and click I sign this declaration using my OSCE credential. And then click Commit. You will get a successful lodgement message. Click OK. You can use the arrows to move through any messages that you might have received back from the ATO.
and then click Next. When you are finished using Rec and Gov Connect, simply click Log Out and then click Yes. This concludes the demonstration on Rec and Gov Connect. If you want to watch it again, simply click Replay.